To more breaking news, Hamilton County sees its first human cases of the West Nile virus. Nine News reporter Bill Price live now in Mount Auburn with the very latest. Bill. Brandon, what we can tell you is the Hamilton County Public Health Department is now saying that it has two known cases, human cases, of the West Nile virus that uh, apparently came from the west side of the county. And in fact, they say West Nile could have come from infected mosquitoes coming from wooded areas like this one or from standing water where they're known to breed. Now, all this comes as the United States health officials report an alarming increase in the number of West Nile cases nationwide. More than 1,100 cases so far and 41 deaths, more than three times the usual number for this time of year. Most of the cases and deaths have been in the Dallas, Texas area, but disease experts say no part of the country is immune. And apparently, while most people who get a West Nile infection don't get sick, those who do develop high fevers, numbness, and paralysis. And with this nationwide outbreak, we could see an increase in West Nile cases here. There is that potential. I think the, the surveillance at the national level is indicating that's certainly possible. But as of now, we're still around normal for our area this time of year. So. The drought conditions could exacerbate the, uh, the disease spread a little bit. Um, we received some information from the state entomologist that's certainly possible. Now, epidemiologists also tell us that the combination of recent hot weather and the lack of rain may actually increase the number of mosquitoes in the area. Now, coming up at 6, I'll be back to tell you who's most at risk for getting very sick from the West Nile virus. In Mount Auburn, Bill Price, 9 News. As Bill mentioned, the recent West Nile outbreak is the largest ever seen in the United States. The disease was first detected in the U.S. in 1999. Since then, 38 states have reported human infections, totaling more than 1,100 cases. 41 people have died. The state hit hardest now is Texas, with 586 cases and 21 deaths. And here are a few things you need to know about West Nile. Most mosquitoes do not carry the disease. Most people bitten by West Nile mosquitoes do not get sick. Seek medical care immediately, though, if you have severe headaches or confusion. You can prevent West Nile with the four Ds. Use mosquito repellent with DEET. Dress in long pants and long sleeves. Be especially careful at dusk and dawn. And drain standing water where mosquitoes breed, like kiddie pools or bird baths. Stay with Nine News and WCPO.com for more on the human cases of West Nile found in Hamilton County. Xavier.